pleased to offer multiple air suspension repair and replacement options for the Land Rover Range Rover L322 chassis. One of the signs of an air suspension leak is when the compressor fails because it is overworked. Arnott offers ready-to-install new OES air suspension compressors that are tested and fitted with application-specific mounting hardware. In this video, we show how to install the AMK OES air suspension compressor P2646 for the 2006 to 2012 Range Rover L322 chassis. Air compressor removal. Removal step one, prepping for removal. Remove the floor cover and spare tire in the rear cargo area to expose the vehicle's air suspension compressor housing. Remove the two foam pads and the compressor cover from the vehicle. Removal step two, compressor removal. Remove the valve block from the compressor bracket. Remove the air line and fitting located next to the pressure sensor from the valve block. Remove the lower air line from the compressor. Press and hold the quick connect fitting while pulling out on the air line. Disconnect the two electrical connectors from the compressor assembly to the vehicle. Remove the four mounting bolts holding the compressor assembly to the vehicle. Carefully remove the compressor assembly. Air compressor installation. Install step one. Installing the air compressor. Install the compressor assembly into the vehicle using the reinstalled mounting hardware. Connect the pre-installed air fitting to the valve block. Install the valve block onto the mounting bracket. Connect the two electrical connectors from the compressor to the vehicle's wiring harness. Secure the air hoses and wiring harness to the mounting bracket. Reinstall the air compressor cover, two foam pads, spare tire, and floor cover. Install step two, air compressor relay replacement. The air suspension compressor relay is located on the right side of the rear cargo area. Remove the compressor relay and replace with the unit provided in this kit. Install step three, testing. Start the engine, wait two minutes. Operate the raising function of the car's electronics. Initially lower the lifting platform slowly and only completely when the vehicle rises of its own accord. Check for leaks. Most compressors go bad because of an air leak which causes the compressor to overheat. Don't void your compressor's warranty. Inspect your air springs for any leaks, cracks, or excessive wear. 